listeners. I am so happy to see all of you. So most of you all know that in Frankfort, Kentucky, where our studio is, today is the beginning of the candlelight tradition. And the candlelight tradition is when we start celebrating all the things that make winter awesome and all the holidays that happen in winter. Usually I would have you all come in the studio and do some fun stuff with me here, but since we're trying to make sure everybody stays safe during the COVID virus, we are going to do something a little bit different. So if you can't come see me, I'll just come to you. I thought today I could read you one of my very favorite stories and one I think a lot of you guys already know. It's called The Nutcracker. And I bet a lot of you know it because we dance The Nutcracker every year here at KDA. So I got this beautiful book by Susan Jeffers and I got it right here at Poor Richard's Bookshop. And I thought we could read it, but also I would play the music so you could hear what the dancers hear. And you can dance just like we do on the stage. So let's start The Nutcracker. It was Christmas Eve at the Stahlbaum's house. Marie and her little brother Fritz were listening at the ballroom door, waiting for the party to begin. Everyone was dancing when the last guest arrived. Do you want to hear the music that we play on stage? Holding Nutcracker close 
She soon fell asleep. Herr Drosselmeyer slipped into the room and raising his hand, cast a bit of magic. and ran as fast as she could. In the music that's still playing, this is the part when Marie, we call her Clara, comes back down the stairs and she's falling asleep with her nutcracker and then the mouse queen is what we call her comes out. So I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit. So for this music, we can be sneaky like the mice. Remember that mice have whiskers. Mice have very fast feet, but they're was transformed 
into a handsome prince. The prince bowed to Marie and placed the Mouse King's sparkling crown upon her head. Come, said the prince. They walked through falling snowflakes to a waiting boat that flew them through the night. In this scene, you can see that they're surrounded by snowflakes. I'm gonna play some of the snowflake music. It sounds really different than the battle. If you listen, it sounds like snowflakes floating on the air. Our snowflakes, they do a lot of graves, which are little feet. They also use their arms up a lot and their legs out a lot, so they look like a snowflake when they're dancing. They also turn a lot, because snowflakes kind of flutter and spin as they fall to the ground. Welcome to my kingdom, said the prince. But where are we, asked Marie. You are in the land of sweets, said the sugar plum fairy coming through the gates of the kingdom. Welcome home, dear prince. We will have a party to celebrate your return. The sugar plum fairy led the prince and Marie to the seat of honor. Coffee, chocolate, tea, marzipan, and mother ginger and her Polly Chanel's danced for them. On this page, you can see all the different characters. I'm going to play a couple of their songs and tell you what sweet they're supposed to be. Let's see. Let's start with this one. So this one's kind of slow. This one is supposed to be Coffee. Coffee is kind of smooth, so the music sounds smooth. This one sounds fast. Sounds exciting. This one we call Jessica. Russian dance depends on where you are. This one sounds fun. Ginger with her big skirt, all her babies underneath it. Pink roses waltzed. At last, the sugar plum fairy danced. She seemed lighter than air. So the sugar plum fairy is the queen of the whole kingdom. A sugar plum is kind of an old fashioned candy. Let's see if we can find her dance. I bet you've heard this song before. The Sugar Plum Fairy is always on her tippy toes. One day your courage and kind heart will be rewarded. Do not forget me. What are you doing under the tree, Marie? said her mother the next morning. Wake up, said Air Drosselmeyer. Marie opened her eyes and hugged her nutcracker. She whispered, if only you were a 
alive. I would not care if Fritz said you were ugly. I would love you anyway. Air Drosselmeyer raised his hand and the Nutcracker again became the Prince of the Fairyland. The Prince said to Marie, the Mouse King imprisoned me under an evil spell. Because you love me no matter what I look like, his spell is broken. I have been returned to my true form. Years passed and the Prince and Marie became engaged. After their wedding, they rode to the land of sweets in a coach trimmed in gold, drawn by four silver horses. To this day, there are those who say Marie is the queen of a wondrous fairyland that only those who believe can see. The end. Gosh, I so enjoyed reading that with you and sharing some of the music and dance moves that go along with it. I hope that I get to see you in person soon, but even if I don't, I know you've got great imaginations and you've got awesome dance moves and you're gonna be dancing up the storm wherever you are. So give me some air hugs and blow me some kisses and we'll curtsy and bow, thank you. Thank you for dancing with me. Thank you for dancing with me. I'll see you guys soon.